Beyond the Black Volta and Trunk Roads of Northern Ghana, there is a little village called Damankumili, where UNDP is helping to create jobs and empowering women by supporting an agro-processing facility. Amina says it's a lifeline. And she simply wants to say thank you. <laughs> UNDP is 50 years. It was formed in January 1966. Today, UNDP works in nearly 170 countries and territories, helping to achieve the eradication of poverty and the reduction of inequalities and exclusion. For us at the UNDP country office in Ghana, this is definitely a very exciting moment as we join Ghana to celebrate uh, UNDP at 50. I definitely wish them several more years of success as the world's premier development organization. We look forward to the continuing collaboration between us and UNDP in the localization and implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. Kenyase is a small quiet farming town in the Ashanti region of Ghana. Adra Bonze supplies a cassava to an association of women supported by UNDP who turn it into gari. The gari from Kenyase number no. 3 is however special because the carbohydrate is fortified with soya beans adding vital nutrient content. <laughs> UNDP at 50. This is also particularly important given that this comes at the wake of world leaders coming together in New York last fall uh, to put in place the most comprehensive and ambitious sets of development goals that will deliver a better 21st century. Ghana as part of one of the countries in Africa and West Africa has benefited immensely from UNDP support in the past 50 years. Udutobri Rural Bank at Jakubu in Ashanti region. And supported by UNDP, it is currently one of the most dynamic microfinance institutions in Ghana. UNDP came in 2003, but the actual financial support started in 2004. And it has helped this bank a lot in terms of outreach of the macro, our macro finance program. Harriet Pepra is truly glad to have received financial support for her textile business. A few yards down the same street is a palm oil production site run by Ama Osa. In the small village of Kasaping in Brunhavel, the impact of deforestation, particularly on cocoa, is being reversed by a unique tree planting project supported by UNDP. Mizamponsa has planted a variety of trees to provide a green cover against the direct rays of the sun. UNDP has been truly supportive of this country's environmental development programs. One of the key projects funded by UNDP, based in Tamale, Northern Ghana, is New Energy's solar-powered irrigation system, irrigating 15 hectares of farmland and benefiting over 100 farmers. It is a raining season and parts of the farm are flooded. The land is waterlogged, but the solar panels that power the irrigation pumps come into view. The purpose of this project was to create an opportunity for farmers who had abandoned irrigation because of high fuel costs to now have access to irrigating with a cheaper source of energy. The southern zone is really 54% of the landmass of the country. UNDP supported us to map all the education facilities in the Southern Zone, all the health facilities in the Southern Zone. After independence, and especially when we became a Republican state, there was a need to increase the number of African civil servants. 
Nkrumah therefore embarked upon an Africanization of our public services. So UNDP stepped in to help establish an institution called the Institute of Public Administration, IPE. And that was the beginning of GIMPA today. UNDP is proud to have been a strong partner to the government of Ghana over the years. And we're really strongly encouraged by the support we've always received. I can say boldly that the National Peace Council owes its being to the UNDP. In carrying out its work, UNDP has benefited largely from strong partnerships with its development partners. It's about enabling people to prosper, it's about more inclusive societies, and it's about protecting our planet. <laughs>